Hello, good morning, and happy Friday. Friday. We made it through the week. Oh my God. <sighs> if I was planning on going to the gym today, I wouldn't have been able to go to the gym today because this guy right here had an upset stomach all morning. Like, he does this thing. Where it's like, I swear he thinks I'm talking to him. Uh, where it's like he's trying to burp. I don't know. It's really weird. So for like two hours this morning, from about 4.45 until 7.15 is when he finally settled down. And I'm just like, Yeah, that's what I'm like, Sven. <laughs> oh. So, um, I'm probably so tired because I'm not eating enough. You know what I mean? Like, <sighs> I slept until 7.15 until about five minutes ago. So, yeah. Oh, I'm such a sweet baby. Mm, yeah. Dog hair. Anyway. Um, so today I'm going to get all of our non-essential shoes packed. I've got like a pile of blankets and stuff on in a corner of my bedroom. I'm going to get that packed up today. Um, get some, a lot more of my clothes packed up today. Oh, it's, it's fucking go time, kids. It's like go time. I'm going to leave myself the most minimum amount of clothing I possibly can. And then just go to the laundromat. Because our my son and his girlfriend are taking our washer and dryer this weekend. So I don't know if they're taking it this weekend or... That's going to really suck. If that's the case. I don't want to move dirty clothes, you know? Well, if they take it this weekend, then I'll leave enough outfit changes for five days. And then on the fourth day, just go... Uh, go to the laundromat or go to their house. They don't pay for water. Really. I mean, they pay, they pay like a fee per month for water and something else. And, but it's a set fixed cost. So I wouldn't feel bad about like raising their water bill or something. Anyway. Um, I'm so tired. Okay, Sven. Seriously. Ser Look, here, if you give me a second, let me fix. Here, move for a second. Move your back. Let me fix this. Let me pick this up. Oh my God, Smith! What are you doing, huh? You're so silly. You're such a silly goose. Give me eyes. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I can fix the couch cushion of this nasty fucking couch. What are you looking at, huh? Nothing, Mom. I don't feel well. I shoved a dose of Pepto down his gullet. And that's what I think finally got him to... <sighs> You're hurting my legs, kid. Uh, I think that's what finally got him to calm down. <sighs> anyway... Um, I'm not hungry. I'm at inbox zero already. I'd worked for my phone laying here. <laughs> like, 
my husband's probably going to quit, quit his job today. Which I don't blame him at all. I've, I've mentioned before on here how toxic his work environment is. It's so fucking sad. Like, you know, some of the people he work with, they're great people, but they're so trapped in this negative loop. Like just, it's a constant, constant negative environment because of two people. And I'm like, I said to my husband, why don't they get rid of them? If, if they've ran off three people before you, there goes my fucking nose. Jesus Christ. Well, as, before, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my nose. <laughs> Do I? I don't brush my teeth yet this morning. Anyway, I'm cold. Um, there's two ladies that he works with and they're on the same level as him. And apparently they have ran off two other employees before my husband. And I'm like, because of, because they're so difficult to work with and just do nothing but constantly complain. Right. And it's like, if two people are constantly causing other people to leave, this is the third employee, including my husband. I mean, he would have still found a different job if we weren't moving. So, uh, it's like, you need to get rid of those people. You need to, you need to change them to someplace else or, or, you, or you need to fire them like, or, or tell them to get their attitudes adjusted because the, a toxic work environment is, you know, and my poor husband, it's not like he's just in the office for eight hours a day from nine to five. No, he gets there at 4.30 in the morning and he doesn't get off until like 7.30 at night. I'm sorry, that is not worth it at all. <sighs> anyway, so um, his plan was when he left this morning that he was gonna work the morning, his morning part of his shift and then leave at his lunch. So, and you know, tell him that he was leaving and everything. And <clears throat> I mean, he had told his direct supervisor before Christmas, I'm really gonna have to think about things. I don't know if I'll be back after Christmas. You know, he essentially started giving them warning then before, he's, before Christmas break. So, you know what? Ugh. Who knew there was so much drama in schools? Like that was that was the biggest eye-opening experience with his with this job. Is how many how much drop drama there are in schools. And you know, my my future daughter-in-law. Uh she, She's a teacher and the drama that she deals with. Oh my God. The, the drama she deals with. Oh my God. Guys. All right. It is 11.43. I haven't had anything to eat yet. I'm not hungry. I'm, I started, I think I started to get a migraine. Like I got like one little thing and I took to a leave real quick. No headache yet, so I don't have time for a migraine, especially a bad migraine. So I'll be right back. My husband called and uh, I'm meeting him at Harris Teeter to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So I got ice, ice, I gotta get dressed because, because like I'm in a hoodie and short shorts it's too cold for that i don't know if i've showed you guys let me show you real quick over christmas break my husband and i went and got new glasses my driving glasses they're so fucking great like for night driving oh my god 
I look like the lady from uh, The Incredibles. <laughs> I fucking love these. Like, I saw these and I was like, oh my God. Absolutely. And then I got a pair of sunglasses. I call them my Dahmer glasses because they look just like Jeffrey Dahmer's, but they're black. So, okay. I'm home. Um, I must be in an Italian kind of mood today because I got my pizza for uh, dinner or for lunch. And then, oh, I need some, uh, I'll, I'll get some cheese and stuff. But anyway, um, and then since tonight is actually my son's last night here, um, I'm making his favorite lasagna. So, yeah. Yeah, so let me get my cheese and stuff. All right, now that I've got cheese and pepper and red peppers, she's ready. This is a mini. It's the kid's size. So let's see if I can eat it all. The goal. But anyway, yeah, so lasagna tonight. I'm very much looking forward to that. Mmm. I haven't had mod pizza in like two years for some reason. Don't ask me why. I paid $12 for pizza. I wanted their little cake things. They're like a ho-ho, but better. I don't put red sauce. I use just the garlic and oil for my base. Uh. One thing they don't have anymore is ricotta cheese because used to I'd have ricotta cheese blopped on it. <clears throat> my ricotta cheese tonight though is full fat. All of it full fat. Hell yeah. But mod is so great because it's like a, a subway for pizza. And I love that. I ate my whole pizza. It's itchy. Well, oh, that was stupid cat. Another Parmesan fiasco. <sighs> that was delicious though. I need to start going to mod pizza more often because especially right now, right? <sighs> My head hurts, I'm tired, I haven't done any packing yet, and I need to get that going. <sighs> I could do that all tomorrow though, honestly. I think that's what I'm gonna do. My migraine, I don't know if I mentioned it already or not. I get so stupid with migraines, even without my medication, I get stupid. Um, no idea what I was just saying. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> so my husband when he went in today, he told them he was only working a half day and he was going to be done, right? And um, I'm really pissed off right now because <laughs> they somebody called out or something like that. And so then they're like, oh, we need, we're, we're short staffed. We need you here. And my husband... Or, Hang on, fuck migraines. I hate migraines, the biggest pain in the ass. But, oh my God. Yeah. One thing I just realized I need to look into is where the bus stop is at our new house because I hope to God it's not like on our corner. <laughs> oh my God. I think I'm going to go take a nap.
I got to go over to a friend's house tonight. They're leaving for uh, Athens, Texas. How far is it? That's what I want to look up. Directions from Athens, Texas to Austin, Texas. They're going to be three hours and 11 minutes away from us. These are some of our good friends too. So they're going to be down in Athens until I think April. They have a uh, beautiful, I think it's called the Class C RV. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. Like, it's like a bus. It, like a, the high-end buses. You know what I mean? <laughs> the ones where, you're, where you buy them and they're already done kind of thing. Oh, it's fucking gorgeous. Anyway. He is like, I don't know, 55-ish. And um, he got laid off of his job. He's He's been in IT for ever. Like he used to work for, um, he was high up in Microsoft. Anyway, um, <laughs> she still works for Microsoft. It's so funny. Anyway, uh, he got laid off and couldn't figure out what he wanted to do, you know, like nobody wants, you know, he's 55. Who wants to hire a 55 year old who is on the spectrum? Like he has autism, high functioning autistic, obviously, but you know, and I'm like, and, and then, you know, we were all sitting and talking one day and I was like, well, you really enjoy working on vehicles and stuff. Why don't you see about becoming a, a mechanic for RVs? and travel because his wife works remotely. So why not? Like then you can, you know, travel around the United States like they want to do. And, uh, he can make money while she's making money. Like you have a beautiful, Oh my, you want to talk about a big house. Oh my God. It's probably, twice the size of my house because there's a third story <laughs> and it's bigger. It, it has to be close to 5,000 square feet, if not over. Anyway, um, and it's just them that live there. I don't understand it whatsoever. But <sighs> yeah. I am, uh, I'm gonna go take a nap. I need to with my migraine. So, as predicted, that nap did wonders for me. <laughs> I am on my way. My son took a half a day off of work because he's getting the U-Haul packed for his move. And then... So I had to go, I have to go get my daughter to work. Sorry, I'm still, I'm still incredibly dumb. I might, I, I'm still dumb for sure, but I feel better. So that's the important thing. So I will give you a recap at the end of the night and let you know where I end up. I'll show you my plate too. My, my lasagna is in the oven. <laughs> All right, well, it is 10 p.m. 10 p.m. <laughs> we just got home from our friend's house. They're leaving uh, tomorrow morning. And, oh, I already told you about that. Yeah, they're leaving tomorrow morning. So our friends that are going to Texas as well for three months, they're coming back the end of March. It wasn't the end of April, so... <sighs> broke the news to them that we were heading out. Oh. 
I ended up at 1840 something calories and 158 grams of protein today. So that's, I mean, I hit my protein goal. What else? What else can I do, right? <laughs> I can only eat so much. I can drink a lot. Um, but man. This stuff. It says it's fragrance free, but I don't think it is. You just need a little dab. And it's, it's almost the consistency of Vaseline, but um, <coughs> not quite. Oh, so my son's getting the last of his stuff packed up. And he's carrying all of his boxes and tables downstairs. So tomorrow morning, uh, <coughs> tomorrow morning is going to be like 20 degrees and raining or something like that. It like we're under a winter storm watch or warning or something, whatever, whatever is the worst one. So hopefully... It, it's supposed to start tonight. It's supposed to ha happen overnight. So hopefully we don't wake up to an ice storm <laughs> tomorrow. That would suck. Oh, so that's it, guys. Oh, today was my, my husband's done now. He's done working. That means I have more help around the house to pack, which is nice. Voice. I'm so excited. I we are so blessed. We are so 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 blessed. Yeah. All right. I will see you guys later. Bye.